Welcome aboard flight, Bob Dylan. <laughs> Robert, I used to call him Robert. There's uh, the Shakespeare of this age. Uh, <laughs> you know him, he's yours, Bob Dylan. I'm not a fan. Bob was, I'll tell you, he, he uh, was the cutest little boy. Some say Bobby Don Dylan, some say Don Bobby Don Dylan. Can't teach that dumb son of a bitch nothing. <laughs> Feels like he must have just been a regular kid. So he was just another character. He was a little nuts. We were all a little nuts. Where the hell did Bob Dylan, where, how did he come, who, who is he? You know, Hibbing's a, a big hole. I mean, there's a big hole in Hibbing. Um, that's why it exists. It existed only out of the, the needs of, of the mining companies. So you can't grow up in a place like that, which literally has a hole in it. Um, without um, thinking about that. I'm interested in seeing what a person comes out of and what they create. Inhibbing, I mean, in a place, like a seed dropped someplace that it didn't belong, and yet it was so strong it kept going anyway, that it tells me that life can come any place. The place you're from gives you the, the means to leave. Uh, at least it did for him. I met B.J. Rolfson, uh, Bob Dylan's English teacher, the greatest of all teachers. Someone who is really lit from within, and there was an immediate connection. It's always nice to see you. you know, I just it's wonderful to see you. <laughs> I just, I was waiting for you to come back, and, and, uh. and there you are. Uh. The way Bob Dylan found Woody Guthrie. I found Bob Dylan. He's an example for me.